Good morning again, boys and girls. We're coming to you from the children's section at Living for the Brain Cowboy Church, and we're so glad that you're joining us. And we're going to have another wonderful story out of God's Word, the Bible. Remember, we talked last week about this is a living word, and what was true then is true today, and the same stories apply to us, and we can find strength and encouragement from God's Word. And we're going to be studying uh, Daniel today. Remember, we talked a little bit about Daniel last week. And the example that Daniel's going to give us today is a life of prayer. So before we start this video this morning, let's go to God in prayer. Our kind and gracious Father, we come before your throne. We come lifting up all the boys and girls and their parents who are at home uh, doing their lessons, parents who are working. Lord, we just ask that you put a protective hedge around these people and you keep them safe and free from this uh, virus that we're all concerned about at this time. Lord, we thank you that we have the opportunity to visit with these children. And Lord, we just ask that you would hold them close and know that we love them and we know that you love them. In your most precious name, amen. Well, last week we talked from the book of Daniel and we talked about Daniel and his friends being taken captive and taken to the land of Babylon. And last week, the king in the story was, remember, old King Neb, Nebuchadnezzar. And our story last week was about the three of the friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And remember, they were thrown into the fiery furnace. Well, today, our story is about a king named King Darius. King Darius. And we also have Daniel. Remember, we're going to be talking about Daniel, and we're going to be talking about King Darius. And when we started last week, Daniel was probably 16 or 17 years old. And in today's story, he's more than 80 years old. So he has served a long time and served very faithfully these kings in Babylon. And there's been several kings through the years, but he was such a trusted servant that he continued to serve all these years. And uh, King Darius really liked Daniel and the country was prospering and everything was going good. And they had governors and they had presidents over the governors. And there were several of these uh, people that were over these people and they didn't like Daniel because Daniel prospered because he sought God's uh, will and what he did. He never made decisions without checking with God first. And you know, we should do that. And sometimes we, we only remember to pray when it's something big going on. We, our, our pet is sick or our grandmother is sick. And, but we should pray about everything. And so King Darius is sitting on his throne and he likes Daniel. But these old fellows over here, they don't like Daniel. And so they decide they'll find something that Daniel is doing wrong. They said, oh, if we watch him, he bound to cheat or lie or do something that would be unpleasing to the king. And then we can get him in trouble. Well, they just couldn't find anything. They couldn't find anything that he did wrong. So they appealed to King Darius's pride. Do you know what your pride is? That's that thing that says, oh, look how good I am. Look what a wonderful job I did. That's your pride. And pride can get us in a lot of trouble. And that's what happens with King Darius. These gentlemen come and they say, oh, king, you're such a wonderful king. Let's, you need to make a rule that for 30 days, people can only pray to you. And of course, oh man, he got all fluffed up and he said, oh, that sounds like a good law to me. So I'll do that. I'll write that law. And back in that day, they referred to the laws as the laws of the people. Medes and the Persians. And once they wrote it into law and the king signed it, you couldn't change it. It was the law. So the king says, okay, for 30 days, everybody has to pray to me. 
boy, these old guys right here, they thought, man, we got old Daniel now. Because they've been watching Daniel. And do you know what the worst thing they could find about Daniel? It was the fact that Daniel went to his home every day. Let's do away with the palace. Let's turn this into Daniel's bedroom. How would that be? Let's, let's give Daniel. Oh, look at that beautiful view he has at his window. This is going to be Daniel's room. And Daniel prayed every day. He was very faithful to pray. He prayed three times a day. He prayed in the morning. He prayed at noon. And he prayed at night. And he didn't hide. He was very... Uh, he wanted people to know that he prayed. He was proud of his God. He was proud that we could pray. And so he would get me the table right over here. Whoops. We're having technical difficulties this morning. Daniel would get right in front of his window. So anybody who walked down the street would see him praying. And he prayed morning, noon, and night. So, man, these old fellas over here, they go running back to the king. And they say, King, that Jewish man, that Daniel, he's not following the rules. He's not praying to you. Well, this made King Darius very sad because now he realizes he's been tricked. And he says, well, you know, Daniel's a, a good guy. And they said, yeah, but you wrote the law. So he said, well, I have to follow the law. I'm the king. I made this law. And I have to follow this law. So what does he do? He has soldiers go to the home of Daniel and take Daniel. And the punishment, oh, the punishment is horrible. The punishment is if you don't obey the law, you get thrown into the lion's den. Well, we all know about lions. We've seen them at the zoo and we've seen them on documentaries. And what do lions do? They eat people. And that's the punishment, to be thrown into the lion's den. And so Darius is very sad. And... These, these soldiers, they take Daniel. Now we've got the, we've got the den. We've got these lions. Man, they're big lions. Look at these things. Man, I wouldn't want to be locked up in there with those, with those lions, would you? And they throw Daniel in the lions. And he squeezed him all night. Well, King Darius was very concerned because he knew what these lions were. They were hungry. I mean, they were just probably going to eat Daniel up and there just wouldn't be anything but maybe some bones left. But in the morning, King Darius goes hurrying to the lions. And he calls out, Daniel, Daniel, was your God able to save you? Well, so he knew about Daniel's God. And he was hoping maybe Daniel's God saved him, but he wasn't real sure. And what did Daniel say? He said, my God sent an angel. And the angel kept the mouths of the lions closed. I'm safe. And there he said, Come out of there, pull out that lion's den. So he comes over here. And Darius said, You serve a wonderful God. He said, I'm going to write a new law. I'm going to write a law that everybody needs to fear and honor the God of Daniel. Part of the lesson here today is that we need to pray to God about everything. And God will protect us even. From the lions. He'll protect us from coronavirus. He'll protect us from bullies. He will protect us in all things, but we need to pray on a regular basis. 
not just when we have a problem, but every day we need to pray. Do you know what prayer is? It's talking to God. And you can talk to God just like I'm talking to you. And then when we talk, we call it conversation. And conversation isn't just talking. Conversation is listening also. So when we talk to God, then we need to be quiet and listen for God to answer. Now, we may not hear him say words, but he will give us feelings in our heart or he'll direct us to our Bible. You know, it's amazing how you can open your Bible and find the exact answer for a problem. Well, that's our story of Daniel and the lion and how God protects us and how we should pray. And we, we thank you for joining us here. And I don't know what lesson we're going to have next week, but it'll be something else that's exciting from God's Word. So once again, from Miss Brenda, Miss Debbie, Miss Kim, Miss Nell, and Miss Barbara, we thank you. We love you. Stay safe. And we'll see you soon.